Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and I just got my hands on the new Tangem Ring cryptocurrency hardware wallet. So I'm going to go through the unboxing, help you get it set up, and talk about its features. So let's jump in. So this wallet is truly amazing. It is wearable technology. It's a cryptocurrency hardware wallet that you can wear on your finger. It is very stylish. Uh, I really like the way it looks and feels on my finger, but you can use it to authorize transactions. And what's amazing about this ring is its security. The concept of Tangem is to generate a private key safely and securely on your device and then back it up onto two backup cards. This is the entire process. You don't have to write down a seed phrase. You don't have to store or manage a seed phrase. And so it keeps the private key very secure. One of the biggest problems in the cryptocurrency community in self-custody is newcomers that are not familiar with how crypto wallets work, not writing down their seed phrase carefully enough, writing it down incorrectly, or not storing it correctly, putting it on digital format, like saving it in a text file on their computer or taking a picture of it with their phone, which makes it vulnerable to hacking. Also, many people are tricked into revealing their seed phrase to scammers, and thus the scammer is able to empty out their wallets and they lose all their crypto. The Tangem system avoids all of these vulnerabilities. The private key is generated safely and securely on the ring, and it stays on the ring. During the initialization process, the two backup cards are created. So if you ever lose the ring, you can recover your crypto. A few things about the ring. Uh, it is highly durable, made of zirconia ceramic, resistant to scratches, dust, and water. It has NFC connectivity for authorizing transactions. It's also EAL6 plus CC certified. It is a secure element embedded in the ring that keeps your private key safe and secure. Uh, as I mentioned, we have the backup cards, uh, the system that keeps the private key private, even from the user. The ring also has a 25 year warranty. So you don't have to worry about the ring getting broken or wearing out. Also, the firmware is audited by Kudeski Security and Riscure. Both independent firmware audits confirm that Tangem Rings firmware is safe and secure and contains no backdoors and cannot be updated. So now that you know about the security system and the features of this ring, let's dive in, open it up, and I'll show you how to get everything set up. All right, so we're going to need to download the Tangem app. This is where you will manage your cryptocurrency, look at its balance and transaction history. Uh, so if you don't have the Tangem app, just go over to the App Store and search for Tangem. All right, and just download the official version of the Tangem wallet. I already have mine, so uh, I'll just get it open. And this is the welcome screen. So let's go ahead and unbox the ring and take a look. All right, so here's our ring. I decided to use this gray cutting board so you can see uh, my black table doesn't do this justice. I want it to stand out here. So here is the ring, beautiful, shiny, and black. And then here are the two backup cards. And that's it, right? There's no cables. You don't have to charge it. It uh, just works, guaranteed for 25 years. All right, so we'll start in the app. We'll choose scan card. Now, uh, I have found uh, in playing around with this that the best area to hold the ring is in the top left corner of your phone and then let the ring kind of uh, overlap a little bit behind your phone. So about here is the optimal area 
to hold the rings so that it makes uh, a good connection using the NFC. All right, so we'll choose scan card. It wants us to hold the ring up. All right, now it's ready. Here's where we generate the keys. Now they have an option here for using a seed phrase. You're welcome to do that if you would like, but for beginners and even for uh, savvy users, I would recommend using the Tangem system for security, which only stores the private key on the ring and the two backups. That way you never have to worry about managing that backup phrase. So I'll go ahead and choose create wallet. I'll hold my ring up to the back here. And we're ready to go. All right, I've just generated a safe and secure private key on my device. Now it wants me to uh, initiate the backup cards. So I will start with one. We'll hit add backup card. Hold that to the back. We're done there. That's backup card number one. We'll add one more here. Hold that up. And we're ready to go. All right, now we'll hit finalize backup and we'll create our access code. Uh, the access code uh, protects the ring and the two backup cards from unauthorized access. So if anybody finds your ring or finds your backup cards, there is no way that they can access your cryptocurrency without the access code. This is a security feature. It's also very important not to forget your access code. Let's hit create here. And I'll just type in an access code of my choice. We'll need to confirm that. All right, now that we have initiated that access code, we need to imprint that onto our devices. So what we're gonna need to do is rescan our devices. And this time there's going to be a countdown. We're gonna need to hold the device uh, to the phone for about 15 seconds. There'll be a countdown in the app and uh, so that it can imprint the access code. So let's hit scan primary card, which is your ring. And we'll just hold it back there. Let this count down. All right, so we got the ring. Now they want backup card number one. We'll get the card ready. We'll hit scan, scan number one. Hold the card. We're gonna do that countdown again. All right. Now it wants us to scan backup card two to imprint the access code. All right. And that's it. Uh, I've initialized all my devices. Now we're ready to uh, get started using the app. Uh, notice that Bitcoin and Ethereum are already uh, enabled. Uh, you can enable whichever cryptos you'd like to uh, manage, like for instance, Solana. You'll just pull that down and uh, toggle on the network that you want to use. As far as Solana is concerned, there's only one network. Uh, but you may have a crypto that has more than one network, like US Dollar Coin. Uh, you might want to enable it on Ethereum and Polygon, maybe even Base. If you don't understand all these multiple networks, don't worry about it too much. Uh, just use the one uh, that is the main network. For instance, US dollar coin is most common on Ethereum. We'll hit continue. After we enable these, we are, uh, I'm going to use my face ID here. I'm going to scan the ring one more time to enable those new uh, coins. And I'll need my access code. After we put in the access code, we'll scan it one more time. And we're done with the setup and we're ready to start managing our cryptocurrencies. All right, now we're ready to fund our wallet. So uh, basically all you really need to do to fund the wallet is generate a receiving address. So we'll start with Bitcoin. We'll go into the Bitcoin account here and we'll choose receive, All right? It's going to give us a Bitcoin address. Now you can share this with yourself or with someone else if you're, um, if you want them to transfer crypto to you, of course, uh, cryptocurrency is best used peer-to-peer. Uh, -peer. So if uh, you want to share your receiving address with someone that wants to make payment to you, 
uh, this would be the way to do it here in the share button. We can also copy that into our clipboard and then I'm going to go over to my Kraken account. All right, you can see that there's some crypto in my Kraken account over in my portfolio. We've got a little Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana. So I'll show you how to transfer those over to the Tangem card. Uh, so we just go into our Bitcoin account, tap the three dots, and I want to do a withdraw. All right, I'm going to use the Bitcoin network, and I'll just choose max. Always be careful when you're uh, transferring crypto. Always do small tests before you transfer large amounts. I'm going to go ahead and paste in that address that I got from my Tangem app. Right, that is the address of the Bitcoin account in my Tangem wallet. I'll choose continue here. This is a brand new address. I've never used it before, so I'm going to give it a unique name in my Kraken account. All right, you can call this whatever you want. All right, I'm ready to roll here. And they want me to confirm in my email that I've added this address. We'll just go over there. All right, just go into your email and confirm that address. And we're done there. We'll go back over to the Kraken app. Now that I've confirmed that address, I'll just select it. As you can see, I do quite a bit of uh, transfers from my Kraken account. So uh, I'm going to choose my Tangem ring. All right, there's my amount. There's my destination. I'll tap review. This is a breakdown. And then I'll swipe here to make my withdrawal. And then we're done. All right, and we can go over to the Tangem wallet and wait for that Bitcoin to arrive in the wallet. While we're waiting for that Bitcoin, uh, let's go ahead and uh, do the Ethereum. So uh, we have some Ethereum that we'd like to transfer into the wallet. We'll go into the Ethereum account. We'll do a receive. I'll copy it into my clipboard. We'll go back to Kraken. I'll go to my Ethereum, tap these three dots up here. I want to make a withdraw and I'm going to add a new withdrawal address here on the Ethereum network. I'm going to uh, paste in that address that I got from my Tangem app, right? We'll hit continue here. Uh, we'll call this one, uh, see, I've already used it, so I'll call it Ethereum. Whatever exchange you're using has its own rules about withdrawals and uh, whitelisting and all of that. All right, I'll go ahead and confirm that. I will confirm this one. All right, now we can go back to the Kraken app. And uh, it's auto-filled Tangem Ring Ethereum in there. I'll go ahead and max that. Swipe to withdraw. And done there. And let's go ahead and do the Solana while we're here. We'll just go over to the app, go back to Solana, do a receive, get that address into our clipboard, go back over to the Kraken app, hit my Solana, and then I want to withdraw. I'll go ahead and add the new Solana address. Paste that in, we'll hit continue. And then I'll give this another unique name. All right. One more email confirmation. We'll hit confirm. All right, so now we can uh, withdraw the Solana from our Kraken account. We'll go ahead and slide that over. And we're done. All right, and then we can go back over to Tangem app. back here let's uh, refresh all right uh, the ethereum has come in uh, the solana shouldn't be far behind and then the bitcoin uh, bitcoin is probably uh, the slower between the three so it should even though we did it first it'll probably be the last one to come in all right there the uh, solana has arrived so the tangem app and the tangem ring 
are one of the easiest and most convenient ways to manage cryptocurrency on the go. So I want to do a demonstration for you on an outgoing transaction. Uh, this is a great wallet for sending and receiving crypto uh, very conveniently. So I just want to do a quick demo uh, on an outgoing transaction. So for the outgoing, I'll use a different cryptocurrency exchange. Um, in this case, I'll do uh, Coinbase. All right, I'm going to do a transfer and I will receive crypto. Let's go ahead and do the Solana. That's one of the faster ones. All right, and there's the address of my Coinbase account for Solana. Now, this could be anybody's address, right? This could be a friend of yours sitting across from you in the coffee shop and you want to reimburse him for a cup of coffee or something like that. Or you're at a restaurant with a group of friends and... Uh, you don't have any cash on you, but you got your crypto. And so uh, you'll let your friend get the bill and you can send him a little crypto to thank him. So uh, however you want to do it, cryptocurrency, all, you, all it really needs is an, an address, right? So if someone sends you their address, you can copy it into your clipboard from an email or whatever. Uh, I'm copying this one from my Coinbase account, but we'll go back over to Tangem. All right, and we'll go into Solana, and this time we're going to do a send. Now, uh, I need to get the ring ready. So we'll choose send, and then I will paste in the address that I copied into my clipboard from Coinbase. We'll hit next here. I'll go ahead and send it all. We'll hit next one more time, and now we've got everything ready. Uh, confirm that everything is correct and hit send and then it wants the ring and boom you just sent your first crypto transaction from your new wallet using your tangent ring you can close this out when we refresh we'll see that uh, we've sent out the solana now our solana is uh, zero balance we can check with our friend or our exchange. You can see that the uh, Solana has arrived in my Coinbase account. This is a great way to send crypto back and forth using the Tangem app. Uh, and if you've got your ring on, uh, no one's the wiser. Uh, you've got your crypto wallet with you anytime you need it. Uh, to authorize transactions. Okay, and I can confirm that the uh, Bitcoin has arrived in the wallet. So we've got our Bitcoin and Ethereum safe and secure in the wallet. And then as you saw me do, I transferred that Solana over to my Coinbase account. All right, so that's it. My suggestion is to take your backup cards, store them in safe locations. Best to do them in separate locations. Maybe store one safely and securely where you live and then maybe uh, your secondary card can be stored off-site like like a bank safety deposit box or maybe the home of a trusted friend or relative um, keep in mind that even if you give the backup card to someone they won't be able to access your crypto unless they know your access code so if you have any questions about anything i did please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click. That will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.